Look who's here. There's somebody who's left all of this behind. <laughs> There's a man who has no stress in his life. Look how happy he is. He's married to a beautiful woman. He's got two kids. He's just started a yogurt business which is going to flourish and make him a fortune. And he looks so happy with himself, and he should be. Mark Pilgrim, everybody. It's Mark Pilgrim, how are you? Good to see you, good to be here. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you. And I'm glad, I have to say right off the bat, I'm so glad the camera's on here because I would have had to have got up at four in the morning for my hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <So> <laughs> You well, made my life we'll a lot easier. You, we'll tell you the first sign of you going bald, promise. Thank you. Listen, dude, it's so Can good. Can you see my bum? <laughs> <laughs> Must have been a very difficult decision for you to go, you know what? I'm at the top of my game. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. It's a very difficult thing for people to do. They cling on. They'll wait until they get posted to some hideous slot in midnight, half past three in the morning, on some community station rather than leave radio. I, I, lots of people have said, why am I leaving? Or why have I left? Mm. And I use the analogy, you go to someone's party at their house, there comes a certain time of the evening when you know you've got to go home. All the dregs are left. And if you stay, it's going to go absolutely pear-shaped. It was my time to go home. Is it frozen yogurt or yogurt yogurt? Frozen. It's, fr it's frozen yogurt. Oh, In fact, what I brought you this morning is actually a little bit more frozen than I thought it would be, because normally it's like a soft serve out the machine. Um, but then what you do, if you want to take it home, you take it home, put it in the freezer, yeah. if you want, in a takeaway tub, and give it about half an hour, 45 minutes, and it actually just kind of melts to the right consistency again. I forgot to take it out of the freezer just as I arrived, do, or you, before I arrived. a big fan of this. Before you went into business in this respect, before you started talking to anybody or started getting things happening, you used to eat a lot of frozen yogurt. No, I don't consume a lot of frozen yogurt, but uh, if I do have a little... Uh, nibble. I mean, I, I was I was a big fan of even the, the Willie's little frozen yogurt. But what I'm about. asking is, if you go into business doing something, there mm. has to be a kind of an interest. Well, what happened was, uh, my, a good mate of mine has got two stores. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, over time, you know, we would chat a lot about frozen yogurt. Um, I, I got more interested in the brand. I think it's a great, dynamic, funky brand, Smooch. Smooch is what um, it's called, right. And it, it's a great business model as well. This is one of the things I'm doing. People think that I'm just getting into frozen yogurt. I'm still in the, the entertainment industry. Right, I'm you, still doing radio voice service. And MC events and that kind yeah, of thing. Absolutely. You'll probably end up on TV again very soon and that kind of thing, right? Yeah, I hope so. Uh -huh. I'm, you know, we're always looking for the next big show. Sure. It's been a couple of years you now, You want to do actually. a show here? What show you got for me? What do you want to do? Let's talk about penis rings. Summing? Don't worry. 